Hello everyone, this is Judy coming to you from My Scrapbook Loft, and I'm here. Hopefully, I will get through this tutorial without being kicked off. I uh, deleted my YouTube app on my iPad to try to make room for this because apparently it takes up a lot of room. But anyway, here we are with part five of the uh, chest backslash makeup box tutorial. And um, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you like uh, what you see here and what you watch and that you will return and visit us again. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you. Thank you all so very much. So we're gonna do this again because the last video cut off on me as I was putting the pattern paper on the drawer, okay? So, I did end up inking around the edges with Sky Blue Archival Ink by Ranger, okay? Now I'm going to put this on here. I've got my, I'm using a handle that I got at Hobby Lobby out by the clock department where you put your, make clocks. I've got my brads here and I'm going to take off one piece of this tape. I'm gonna bring this down in my lap so I can see what I'm doing. Now remember, I cut this at um, 1 16th below one and a half inches and seven and seven eighths. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that on there. Now I'm gonna remove the rest of the tape. I've got, I use score tape, you all. I've never had a problem with score tape turning loose, so now we're going to burnish that down. This is going to be the last uh, tutorial for this because I think the rest uh, is pretty much uh, you can do. Now half of one and a half is three quarters. So we're going to put this on three quarters. And we know it's eight inches long, so we're gonna put it on four. Three quarters and on four. I quit letting it slip, yeah. Okay. And I know this, these brads are an inch apart. So I'm going to go at a half an inch on the other side of the circle, or then circle the zero, and I let it move. Ah. Shoot. One half inch right there. And then, and I moved it again. We're gonna go half inch on this side and take our piercing tool I marked it with it, and now I'm going to put my holes through. I'm going to take some glue, and I'm just gonna put a glue dot on here around that hole. And I'm going to Put my brad in. That side. And my brad in on this side. There we go. Lay them down. Spread them open and lay them down. And you all always take a little hammer. I've got a little hammer that I've had for be 18 years in November. And I just give these a little peck. Like so. And then I take my glue. I put some more glue on these brads. And I'm going to glue my chipboard. Remember, this one is one and three eighths by seven and seven eighths, because we want to just make the 
drawer stouter. We're going to press that down. And we're going to press this one down. Make sure it's good and tight. Put this one on the bottom because I want to show you why. Here is the next drawer up and lined up. As I cut up this paper here, I'm going to be connecting the next one down. See? Always cut it from the same side, same length, and you can match them up. See how that matched up there? And how the rabbit matched up over here? The grass here, the vine here, the leaves, whatever you want to call it. And that, you all, is how I do my drawers. And... When I get this finished, I'll take a picture of it and put it as the intro or put it in the video somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to learn how to do that. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I need to take some lessons from some people. All right, you all. That is all of tutorial part number five. This is all of the tutorials that I'm going to do for this. It's up to you how you uh, dress it out. You can, if you want to, you can cut a piece to put over here and bring out a quarter of an inch and just box it and really dress it out. Or you can just leave it as it is. Now what I will do, more than likely, I'm gonna wrap my paper around this. I'm just gonna wrap it. I'm not going to do any painting. Mm. Yeah, I believe I will do some painting too. I'm going to paint these edges. All these edges are going to need painting. So that's what I'm going to do. You can cover them with paper if you want to before you even put them on the, on the box. It works that way too. I've done it that way. All right, this is... Judy from my scrapbook law signing off saying thank you all for watching. Hugs to you from me and God bless.